What's up geeks? We are out here and we're going to talk about fishing a jigging spoon for these big winter schools. That's right, geeks. We're going to talk about these big winter schools, man. How they school up and one way for you to catch them is the good old jigging spoon. We're going to talk about the War Eagle and I'm going to show you how I set it up and how I fish it. Hey guys, I want to say, man, I hope 2023 is going to be a huge year for us. We're going to pump out more content. You're either going to love it or you're going to hate it because we're going to throw out so much stuff. It's going to drive you crazy hearing the ding-a-ling-a-ling -a -ling in that uh, notification. But hey, keep that bell ring. As I always say, I appreciate all you guys that sponsor the channel. You know, if you see a video, one of the 16 videos that we do, whether it be a short or whether it be a long play, and you just want to donate a dollar, man, that dollar gets us one step closer to living the dream. I'd rather be sponsored by my geeks than anybody else. If not, listen, I don't want to sound like I'm begging because I'm not. All I really need is for you all to keep supporting me like you've done for the past year, man. 100% Watch Squad, all you guys that come in and view, you are incredible and you have helped this channel blow up. It is 100% because of you guys that Bass Geek is here. Before we get into talking about jigging and spoons, let me show you something. That's right, we got the Bass Geek box from Tackle Warehouse, guys. I didn't do one in December. Sorry, I was sick, things were going crazy. I had a cousin pass away so forgive me but we're going to do one every single month this year somebody is getting 50 dollars worth of bait that i hand pick or somebody else hands picks i really want to get a cast picker well the very first thing we got since we're going to throw a spoon we're going to talk about spooning vertical and jigging spooning for uh those big winter schools gotta have one of these that's the war eagle half ounce one of my favorite you do get a tackle warehouse sticker you also get a bass geek sticker I got you a deep this time. This is the Mossback Shiner from Rapala, my favorite color. That thing catches some of the biggest bass of any jerkbait I ever throw. Got you a flat A. This is the deep diver. This thing's gonna go four to eight feet. This is the new or the next generation Model A. This is gonna dive down to eight to 10 feet. Got you a killer finesse jig from Kitech little uh i think that's tungsten i'm not real sure if that's yeah it is tungsten and it's got those gamakatsu hooks in them and this right here is pretty cool i got you an a rig comes with the scotts barrel tackle baits comes with one eighth ounce heads and what i love about this the one eighth ounce heads have got the screw lock keepers in them man that is so cool so smart good job to scotts barrel and yum for putting those in there this is a rainbow shad it's a good all-around natural kind of shad color but yeah man flash mob jr that's my go-to now let's get rigged up and talk about rod reel and line set up for fishing those spoons so let's talk about rod reel and line set up for a jigging spoon guys this is the tfo professional you want to know what my opinion is what is the best bang for the buck rod on the market it is this one it is this one hands down this series of rod should cost a heck of a lot more money but it is incredible what this rod goes for i think it goes for around 130 bucks roughly but you are not going to go wrong with it this is the best bang for the buck rod series you're going to find now i've got it coupled with a lose this is a hyper speed this bad boy i think is yes a nine five to one so it flies now it's not that i need that much speed on this combo but uh when i need to take up line i can as far as line i've got canine this is where i love their copolymer now it says fluoro on it but it's actually a copolymer and the reason why I love it is because it's got a little bit of stretch. When you're snapping that, the blade can turn over and hang on the line. So what you want to do is either have a mono leader, which I don't like, 
because mono floats and a lot of times I'm fishing deep. So what I do like is to put the canine fluoro, which has a little bit of stretch to it, keeps me from fouling up my bait nearly as much, but it's also neutrally buoyant. Let's go fish this bad boy. So the first thing you gotta do is position yourself, sorry, over top of the school. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. Then you just wanna drop the spoon on them. So there's a lot of different ways to jig a spoon. Sometimes you can put it right down over top of them. They'll come up and hit it. That's the best way to do it. Sometimes if they're really hard on the bottom, it's really good to drop it straight down. Now you, you vertical it most of the time, but with forward facing sonar, you can stay back off of them and kind of fish it like you would a uh, blade bait a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna pull up so that we can vertical fish this school. So I'm going to try and get right in the middle of my vertical fish. Hopefully you can see this. Quick little twitches of the rod. And then sometimes you just got to let it fall to the bottom. And then sometimes, as you can see today, the fish don't give a <laughs> Guys, vertical spoon really is just that easy. I mean, you're gonna drop on top of them. You're gonna cast out to them if you can see them or you know where they're at. You're gonna hop it, you keep it above them, or you can put it right down on the bottom and jerk it up off the bottom. It really is that easy. Now this is the War Eagle spoon. And what I love about it, it comes with that swivel built in and a great hook. Sorry about the sunlight. Let's step over to the side just a little bit. Maybe I can see you a little bit better but guys get out there try vertical spooning in the winter time i'm gonna tell you it will normally load the boat but i ain't gonna lie to you i've fished this group of fish pretty much all day i've thrown everything including this at them several times today i caught two out of this school that was it you'll see that video if you haven't already so to be entered for the giveaway just make sure you enter hashtag spoon down in the comment section below you'll be entered to win one week from the time we post this video, one week to the day, we'll pick the winner. If something changes, of course, I always notify you. Now, again, sorry about the wind and it's getting dark and fat boy's gotta eat. I am hungry, but we've had a really fun day out here. 40 degree water temp, so it's gonna be real tough. We caught a few anyway. All right, questions, comments in the comment section below, guys. Hey, don't forget, every Sunday and Wednesday, brand new videos come out. Between that, we drop shorts. Make sure you check them out if you like the short stuff. I try to put a ton of stuff in there. So remember, hashtag spoon will get you entered. Any other questions, comments, put right down there in the comment section. Guys, as always, like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell so you get the notifications when these videos come out. Hashtag 100% watch squad, guys. That is the best way to support the channel. And as always, you guys rock.